Hey there and happy Monday everyone. So it's been a great one for me already. I got to lots of snuggles with my granddaughter all day as she spent the day here with me and uh, all of a sudden it seems like it's so much later. Um, like why does it seem like she just went home and it's so late but it's mostly because uh, the time change that happened just a couple days ago. What a difference that makes but um, yeah it was just really fun to put something together for you guys. So this will be card or project number three out of ten for the month of November for November's um, stamp camp, virtual stamp camp. Hi there, Brenda. Hello, Joyce. I was trying to see if I could get my iPad going and it just kind of seems frozen. So I think I'm just going to ditch it because I don't like to waste your time. So for my project today, um, I'm going to be working with Eden's Garden. So for those of you that got the October cards, there would have been a project um, included with that using Eden's Garden. Hello, Carol. Hi, Lisa. Um, and so uh, today I wanted to do something uh, again with Eden's Garden mostly because um, I wanted to turn around after doing something towards the end of the month and the beginning of this month doing something again because this pretty paper and the really pretty gems are only available while supplies last. So for those of you that jumped on the wagon and ordered the collection, I want to give you guys some ideas to use um, your paper or for those that are on the fence and go, you know, I think I like it, but I want to see just one more thing using it or how would you use that dye or something. So um, I'm using different products, different papers and a different um, stamp set uh, that coordinates I think really well with it too. Hi Sharon, hi Kay. So let me get my camera flipped around so that you guys can see the card the right way and also have a better view of my whole uh, area here as I make it. All right, so this today is going to be a congratulations card. I feel like the paper in this collection is so rich. It just kind of, um, to me, the first thing I thought of was um, like wedding um, anniversary cards, something that you would um, make extra special for special occasions. So I wanted to highlight the paper and I thought this kind of just looked like a florally, like um like, oh, like a bridal wreath. Um, and I just thought, let's play on all of these things together and get something put together with that. And um, I thought it would take longer to put this together, but um, what I had in my mind came together really um, pretty quickly uh, to the card format. I did have have um, an idea of putting this as a, a flap here and making it be like a fun fold um, that would kind of like open here and such, but then I didn't know how I wanted to get the inside to coordinate with that. And, and when I just plopped this on there before I thought of figuring out the fun fold, I'm like, you know what? I kind of just like it like that. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, it just, um, the paper just makes it pretty instantly. So let me set that aside. Um, so I will, when I post, when I'm done with my video, I always post the still shot of the card all, all by itself with a supply, uh, list of supplies of everything. So, um, the Eden's Garden bundle, it's this, uh, Eden's Garden stamp set, and then the Eden's dies and I want to just clarify that this can be purchased now as part of the collection or it can be purchased as a bundle of course if you buy the stamps and the dies together you get the 10% savings right away this bundle is available now and it will be also available it's just going to be kind of continuous until the next mini catalog comes out which is the January through June mini catalog so I kind of just want to let you know that um the urgency for this only is to be like the first to have it and to have something new, but where the urgency really comes in is the pretty papers. So maybe at night doing videos or when it's darker, it's not night yet. It's just that it's daylight savings time. Um, you can see the prettiness of these papers. Um, and some of them are missing because I used them last time. And then just how pretty the plain, plainer side is there too. So this paper and then the gems here called garden gems so smaller rhinestones larger rhinestones and then kind of these uh fun kind of um 
other gems. These have more of a bluer tint and these have more of a green tint, just in case people are wondering, but they really all coordinate so well with this. So the paper and the gems are only while supplies last. So some of you have said, and it's a great question, if I get the whole collection, can I also order like another pack of this paper, um, another couple packs of the garden gems? Absolutely. So no quantity limits on anything. So I like to let people know that too. Um, um, and then before I get too far into making my card, the congratulations for this comes from the Peaceful Moments uh, stamp set from the annual catalog. And um, and I'm pairing it up with a sentiment from Eden's Garden, although um, if you have the stamp set, you go, oh, these two go together well too. But um, yeah, it's totally up to you. That's what makes card making fun is everybody can kind of do their own thing and make it work too. But that's the stamp set that I brought in for the congratulations. And I feel like that font just matches uh, the dyes, the paper and everything about the Eden's collection. So that's why I kind of put that together. So let me get to making the card for you guys tonight. And I'm going to bring over my cut and emboss machine. I think that's the best way to start with it. Um, the Eden's dies that I'll be using in just a bit, um, kind of like this little banner with an embellishment off to each side. And then this is kind of like that uh, fine florally look there. And then the other dies that are included is a much larger like frame and just a single little flower thing here. And then this is the one that I used on the cards that I sent out um, and probably made, was it last week or the week before with that edging and stitch. So that's what's included in those dies. Um, I did want to add a little bit of texture to the card. So if you look closely, you can see this is what I'm going to start with. Um, what I'm using here today for cardstock colors is um, crumb cake and then the thick wisp or the thick basic white um, and then the green is evening evergreen and then ever Eden designer series paper here um, so since this is the tasteful textile 3d embossing folder that I'm getting that um, extra texture from it's a 3d folder and this is cut two and a half inches by 3.75 and because that's 3d i just put the main platform here i'll, I'll turn it around so you have that reference point um, platform number one and then i put in my folder with the cardstock in it and then platform number four is what you want to use just those two when you're using 3d embossing folders hi there priscilla hi lois Good to have you guys on here. So I'll run that through just to get that little piece um, embossed there. And because this is a 3D embossing folder, you can see, um, I, know, I don't ever notice too much of a difference between front and back, but what I love about the 3D embossing folders is they really give a much um, deeper image uh, for your embossed products. So then this I'm going to set aside and then the next thing I'm going to do is do my die cutting. So I'll slide that main platform number one back over and then put number two on there and then one of the cutting pads. So I kind of just reload it. I call this the regular um, uh, format here. And then this is crumb cake with one of the Eden's dies here. And I'll just run that through. Um, this one cuts out pretty easy. You know, there's the detail um, design on both edges, but not a lot. So I just kind of go back and forth just to make sure I got or have put on a, um, a nice solid run through to make it easy to pop out and such. But it's not one that's so delicate that it's going to be hard to cut out. So you can kind of see the fun uh, images there and I like how some of it's solid and then some of it is cut out so I'll set that aside there I kind of want to get rid of these extra little pieces because I never know if that's going to put a bump somewhere where I don't want it to be now because this one is a little bit more delicate um, that's why I'm using the thick whisper white or excuse me basic white I still get stuck on our whisper white because I love that and then they just changed I still the new stuff's good stuff I just get stuck with that that's Monday <laughs> I'm stuck with a name so because it is a more intricate dye um, then I tend to go with the thick basic white just because I feel like it's easier to run through 
and then it's almost um, like it's easier to pop out and look how easy that comes out for being you know kind of delicate it really pops out of the dye really well hi there Francis so that I'm just going to set aside yeah that's all the die cutting and unboxing that I'm doing tonight all right so maybe that's why I thought um, from what I wanted the card to be and how it came together fast. Maybe that's why it came together fast because it was like, yeah, that really happened quick. <laughs> um, and then before I start putting my card together, um, I want to show you the ribbon that I'm going to be using. And that is the Evening Evergreen. I have to really adjust my lighting with it getting dark. Um, so Evening Evergreen, and it is the um, chevron weave ribbon and I know I use this just last week or one of my recent cards for October and I love how the chevron looks so great with the tasteful textile 3d embossing folder so I thought you know I'm gonna bring that out again because some of you have commented I like it I like to see things again it's not like it's a repeat it's an additional idea with products that I might already have or liked and bought the first time so now I have something else to do with it um, so I'm just gonna lay this down just so it sticks a little bit over each of the edges here and then I'll cut it with my ribbon cutting scissor I'm just gonna pull gently at it not a lot just to give it a little bit of a ruffle on each end here this one has a little bit of a long fray I don't want that on there just to kind of give it a little bit more texture and such and to adhere that, um, here's my take your pick tool. I'm just going to take some glue dots, mini glue dots here. There is kind of a right and wrong side to this. So I want to make sure that I get that attached. I'll end up putting three mini glue dots, one at the top, one at the bottom and one in the middle. And these glue dots work so well with ribbon. Kind of want it to look free flowing and not just really stiff and um, stuck to it too much. So that's why this is perfect. And before I put it on there, I'm gonna look and go, you know what, it is sticking over just a hair. So then it's easy to go back. And I, it's kind of like it's gonna be like between an eighth and a sixteenth inch hanging over and it's actually kind of easier to fray it because it, when you um, flick it against the um, the pretty paper underneath then it helps to kind of fray it okay let me get rid of these little scraps I usually just shuffle that onto my carpet I'm hesitant today because I just vacuumed <laughs> okay so let me uh, get out my adhesive here my seal and just run that across there because now it is ready to go on my uh, my card base. So this is Evening Evergreen here, and it's cut five and a, five and a half by four and a quarter um, with the fold at the five and a half there, opening this way. Hi, Renee. Good to have you on here. And then I will just put this layer right on here, like so. And then I'm going to kind of build up this. And I think I'll do my stamping next. <clears throat> so that will be opening my Evening Evergreen ink pad. And it's kind of a tight fit, um, not uncomfortably tight, like is that gonna go on there or not, but enough where I want to just get out some scratch paper so that I don't get Evening Evergreen ink on my workstation here. Just kind of center that. Like so, yay! I always go, hmm, maybe I should have cut out another one just in case one didn't work, but I think that looks pretty good. <laughs> um, and so with that, then that's ready to go, and I'm going to whoops, use this little piece of scratch paper again and pull out something that I haven't used for a while. This is in the catalog. It's the Fine Tip Glue. Hi there, Marilyn. And um, with my fine tip glue, sometimes what I do is add just a few, like a couple squirts or a few drops of that green Tombow liquid glue just to kind of get it just a tad thicker so it's not so um, runny and watery. And um, with that, it just seems like it sets up a little faster. I'm just dotting it here and there. Um, another... Uh, Thing that you could do just want to press it to make sure it's coming out 
um, is you could take the adhesive sheets too. That works really well. Um, but I just thought sometimes with the adhesive sheets, then you're kind of losing that in the middle there like so too. And so I have all these little dots on there that's going to adhere it to my evening evergreen piece here like that. Now I feel like you can almost tell when you're putting it on if there's any squishing because it almost you can feel it on your fingers. If there are, I just take a Kleenex or a tissue. One of my customers um, had recommended this. Thanks, Marilyn. Hi there, Pam. Um, and so once you just dab this with a Kleenex, it gets rid of that shiny look. It just um, absorbs this into the Kleenex. And so sometimes when I've been working or somebody comes in here, it probably doesn't look attractive to have a used Kleenex on my uh, desk, but that's that means that I'm using my um, fine tip glue pen and I'm absorbing the little extra goo. And it does really get rid of the extra and the shimmer and shine that that leaves behind. Um, so that's that's where that is good and it just is um, a nice glue for things like this that are a little bit more intricate so now i'm going to flip this over and i want to pop up this layer i'll do that with some dimensionals here one in each corner and i'll pull this off maybe <laughs> Okay, some days it's easier to pull these things off than others. Okay, those went off really easy. Okay, so this will go right in kind of the corner here. Um, just think that this is looking a little crooked. That's what's throwing me off. I'm wondering if I can kind of just pick this up and scoot it just a hair. There we go. And I'm going to end up needing to retrim it, but I just, that's that was bugging me. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm just going to trim that down because I didn't put the glue dot all the way towards the top. It's easy to have that um, area to trim in between the pretty paper and the card base there. Now I feel like this looks like it's in place better, you guys. It's kind of funny. Must be Critical Monday for me or something. All right, so I've got this on and then the congratulations banner that's die cut with the Eden dies. I'm also going to pop that up. So let me grab my scissors here. And when I use my dimensionals, I love these little side pieces where I can just take and cut um, what some people might call the waist or the edge. And I'm just going to put that right across the back side and then center that across here like so. And then when I go to embellish it, like I said, uh, the Eden or the garden gems from the Eden's garden collection are perfect. I started out with um, using these thinking like it'd be so great to put them kind of um, like horizontal on there, but there was more blue um, showing than there was green. And I thought, you know what? I think the green's just gonna look like it's a perfect match. So with these rhinestones up here that have more of the green tone, there's two sizes. I'm going to use the larger of the two sizes and just center on each end that little rhinestone there. And it's such a perfect complement to the shininess of the paper and just the color combination that's going on there. So I love that. And then um, for the inside, I, I started out, of course, on the outside using the Peaceful Moments, but I'm going to the Eden's Garden stamp set for the inside sentiment. And I thought, how about let's celebrate everything to go with congratulations. And then I am putting, was it? Yeah, this little one. And this is a distinctive stamp set. So you can kind of see the color variation of light and dark. And I feel like when I use these little um, greenery images, you can see where that really makes a difference. So when I stamp out the Let's Celebrate Everything, you can see some of this image in the floral underneath. These are two separate stamps. Um, but I just put them on the same block so that um, it's already lined up. So that always helps 
um, so I don't have to stamp twice and wonder if it's going to match up or not. So thanks, Pam. I did think it looked really classy. That's why I thought the paper being so classy needed like a congratulations card or something like that. But with the distinctive ink here, you can see that um, the sentiment comes out perfect and clear and dark, but the greenery comes um, lighter and darker on purpose. So the actual artists that designed the stamp set have it so that the... Um, the red rubber of the stamp is kind of etched to collect different amounts of ink, which I think is so pretty. It just adds a little bit more depth and something that's a little bit more different too. So that's going to be for the inside of the card here. And that will finish my card just like that. So for a kind of a classy card, sometimes when cards look extra pretty, they take longer, but not so bad with this one. Um, thanks, Lisa. Um, Lisa likes the card and it's not even blue. Just kidding. <laughs> I am just starting to become a green fan too because I think there's something that's just classic and timeless about green. And Stampin' Ups has done so many great things with uh, some of the pretty green papers and such. So here's today's uh, four, excuse me, let me clean this back off, November Stamp Camp virtual um, projects, 10 of them this month. This is number three that I'm working on. And there we have the inside. Um, yes, and a lot of you, yes, are excited. Priscilla said, I just got it. And a lot of people really jumped on getting this. So I got lots of texts and excited people over the weekend and today saying, my, my stuff arrived. So um, that was really fun to see and probably good timing that I'm doing this video. So if you have the products now in your hands, you can go, I can make that now. <laughs> So very good. Thank you, Lois. Thanks so much. So let me get this flipped around. And how you can get my uh, complete set of 10 that I'm making this month, like I said, this is just number three out of 10, um, is I have the code there during the video, but now I'll take a still shot of today's card. And I will also post um, like the flyer, like a link to the flyer of all the Eden's collection, because this is a sneak peek and some of the products will be available, like the bundle part of it in the next mini catalog, but the paper and the gems will only be while supplies last. So I'm going to send a link to this whole collection of products so that you have all the information um, or if you want to order some more if you did get the collection go you know I do want more of the paper more of the gems you'll have all that information as a link with the still shot of this card and then to get the set of 10 cards that I'm making this month you can place a minimum $75 order using this code for the month and uh, that will get you the 10 for free. Um, or if you go, you know, I just want the cards and the cards, uh, set of 10 cards are $25, just let me know and I'll add you to uh, my list that I have going on this month. If you have any other questions, let me know because don't forget if you want to contact me uh, about saving some money and joining Stampin' Up!, it's just $75 right now. So it's a great discount. You can um, go to my website and then sign up. It costs $75, but you get to order $125 free shipping. I had somebody sign up today and I'm really excited about Pam joining my team because um, years ago, like close to 30 years ago before I was a demonstrator, Pam and I and our other friend Jody, we would get together almost every Sunday afternoon and stamp together. And so she just signed up. So sometimes when I mention like, hey, it's a good time to sign up. Sometimes it takes 25 to 30 years for that to sink in for people. <laughs> but I'm so glad she did and I'm thrilled to have her on my team. So it's an exciting day for me. And if it's an exciting day for you too, let me know and I can help you get started with that as well. Have a great evening, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.